good afternoon everyone uh so uh i hope everyone has heard about a particular field called as forensic science so a lot of people ask me so i have uh, taken this career as forensic i actually am having a uh, nearly 11 years of experience in the field of forensic science uh 3 years as a scientific officer in a central forensic science laboratory and followed by 8 years of experience as a academician as a researcher especially in the field of forensic science so a lot of people ask me why forensic science especially have taken this career in the year 2010 where a lot of people were you no know, it's like engineering nursing doctor mbbs you no know, mbbs doctors and other aspect other areas why people ask me why why forensic science that is why i am here that is what i am you no know? the uniqueness especially of your career makes you unique that is why i am in this tedx platform so thank you for thank you to the organizers for considering me as one of the speaker to this uh, tedx event so uh, when you talk about crime especially when you read the news in newspaper or when you scroll the social medias we see and we hear a lot of crimes have you ever thought why people commit crime especially heinous crimes murder rape that to gang rape so i am just here to throw some lights on certain aspects of crime why do people commit crime so understanding criminal behavior is a multifaceted task and it is a lot of factors are involved especially in dealing with or especially in explaining crime so i uh, so main factors are the sociological factors generally we say psychological factors we say some neurobiological or neuropsychological th uh, aspects we say or we are having something to deal with cultural aspects so normally when you say is i hope it is everything is known to people like sociological factors when we say the family conditions the poverty unemployment social and economic instability all these are certain factors yes of course they are these factors contributing to criminal behavior and uh coming to the sociological or psychological factors like people say lack of empathy some people are having a uh, certain kind of personality traits like aggression impulsivity which makes a person to crime or coming to this neurobiological people say that or researchers say that uh, certain brain dysfunction especially when you talk about a structural and volume reduction or functional reduction of certain brain parts like amygdala prefrontal cortex or certain kind of neurotransmitters imbalance all these can foster to criminal behavior and cultural aspect when you discuss uh, especially when you talk about uh, gender roles and expectations especially in a particular society where uh, we give more importance to the masculinity and where we accept the aggression so in, in such kind of society what happen is that men tend to have more or they engage in more criminal behavior so is it the factor so all these are certain kind of factors generally everyone speak so just imagine a person who is or who is coming under all these category whether what is the likelihood of that particular person to engage in behavior that is he is having a he is from a very socio low economic socio background or the person is having these kind of problems with respect to psychological as well as he is having some problem with his um, brain not every person will commit such kind of crimes no it is all about the personal experience if the person have such kind of experience and each of this kind of factors can act as a vulnerability factors especially in determining the person to be a criminal so how to mitigate these factors so i will take a story of a person so the story of a person actually he is a serial killer he is called as a serial killer he is from around kerala from thrissur so uh, in the year 2003 to 2005 that was his year of operation in thrissur so this killer actually was a ripper he is a very famous ripper uh so his as i showed as i told his childhood was so no he was uh, his childhood was so horrible especially uh, he was not at all 
given importance especially in his family when his younger sibling was born he was undergoing a lot of economic crisis he just uh, drop out from his school in the high school and he was doing all these menial jobs the skill labor so what happened one day is that this person he was having his family two daughters so what happened one day his wife asked him for a brand new sari during that particular time he was not having the money to get it for her so what happened is that he just take a sari from his neighborhood and gifted as a new sari to his wife so ultimately what happened is that when his wife wore this and went for a marriage function she has been caught red handed and ultimately police came and arrested him for stealing a sari for stealing a sari was a trigger for that particular person to commit eight killing that too heinous crimes like hitting the skull of people using an iron bar so this is how the society this is how the criminals are so understanding the person understanding the psychology understanding how to properly rehabilitate these offenders it is very very important especially in a society as we know that especially in india we do have lot of crimes uh, especially india is in high especially when it comes to certain kind of crime rates especially when it comes to certain crime rates so how to mitigate so people ask me is it possible for us to rehabilitate the offender so answer is yes then comes the question how how it is possible for us to rehabilitate the offender so right now the government of india has started a lot of a uh, lot of uh, training programs a lot of uh, strategies to uh, rehabilitate the offenders mostly they adopt a lot of psychological interventions like cbt cognitive behavior therapy counseling sessions for exclusive individual counseling sessions group therapies for the offenders but that not is enough that is not enough so it is all about the society are we ready to accept the criminal for example if a person has committed a crime out of his situation out of his need he is serving a he is serving uh, his sentence in the prison for nearly 7 years or 10 years or 14 years whatever it may be once he is out of that particular prison are we as a society at large are we ready to accept the person back to the society i am very sorry to say that we are not ready to accept the criminal back to society no one is going to give him a job no one is going to give him any kind of a job if you know that okay a particular person has served inside a prison for a period of time so that is where the come that's their main problem even if we provide everything to the to the prisoners or for the offenders if the society is not ready to accept him back to the society there is something called as a reintegration so in india a country like india that is where lot of people are committing again and again that is something called as recidivism people do commit crime and these offenders are recidivist again and again after serving in prison again and again they commit crime why because society is not ready to accept them so let's accept the society let's accept the criminals let's start learning a particular thing how we can properly integrate the uh, offenders back to society otherwise what happen is that a lot of crime similar crimes whatever is happening in this india will happen so let's hope for a very safe and secure environment thank you